Welcome everyone, Gamer Cop here. This is episode 23. Pretty sure it's 23. 23 on my gameplay series on fishing North Atlantic. So today we are going to try out on the last of I think the really small crappy boats. Um, we're going to buy the Saharkin or the Sajarkin or something. I don't know. Available. This guy right here. That doesn't look like too bad of a boat. Uh, one crew member additional. 8,000. Yeah, okay, we'll buy that guy. Perfect. Actually, let's go to shipyard again. Available. Wait, we already own it. Um, what is the storage size? It's 13,000 pounds. Max is 19,000. Okay. Um, we have that one active. Let's go to my dock. Just came in the office. Close the door. There we go. All right. Sorry. Before we got in the way of the door. Okay. Um, so let's go back out of here. Let's go to upgrade. Oop, that's not where I want to go. Upgrades. There we go. Storage. 15,000 to go up 6,600 pounds. Uh, oof, why not? All right. Definitely need the bigger engine. Uh, nothing else I really want to invest in. Uh, okay. Go. So we're what? 115,000 into this boat. Um, what is it rigged for right now? It's rigged for long line. Okay. We will, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at long. Well, we've been doing a long, long line. You know what? Let's throw some nets out. Just to change things up. Why not? <laughs> Let's go to crew. Um, on board. Is anyone on board? What's your net? I'm going to have you go rest of the crew house, and then we're just going to go through all of you. One by one. Ten. Six. Five. Nine. Three. Actually, yeah, your, your cut, I think, is less. Okay, yeah, I think that's, I think that'll be best. But we shouldn't be able to put anyone else on it. Yep, okay. Um, back. Let's go to fish market. Fishing gear. Buy some nets. ETR nets. Um, we have what up to eight. Let's put uh, let's put four on and see what happens. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, are there any tips or anything? Uh, sure, we'll buy those two. They're free. I guess we don't really have to buy them. Um, I'm hoping that uh, maybe next, maybe off camera, what I'll do is earn us enough money because I really want to get that ship that we were talking about. What is it called? Gosh. The, let me find it on here. The Arctic Pioneer, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, the Arctic Pioneer, that's the one we want to get. Okay. Um, someone commented too, I'm really bad about writing down the comments you guys say here. Someone said that you can't, if you get into port um, and you want to sell your fish, but you don't want to pay your crew, you can have them go rest of the crew house and then sell the fish. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but that's cool that you can do that if you wanted to. Um, okay, everything's good to go. Another thing someone mentioned was that the Arctic Pioneer, I think it was they said, um, had a little bit better of a like pickup zone, so it'd be a little bit easier maybe to pick stuff up or pick up uh, nets and whatnot. So, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. I think with this, not for setting the nets, but for hauling them in, I think we'll both on board have to do something. Um, let's hop over. I was like, what are we crossing? But it's a thing we're probably crossing there. Um, we'll go try out here. We haven't been out here. We haven't done anything out here. We'll try something a little bit different. Um, I may use the Moby again, but if we do use the Moby again, we're probably gonna upgrade the quota, quite honestly. I mean, I don't, I can't believe we ran into that quota last episode. I was so surprised by that. <laughs> you can do it. Looking at the time, we'll probably fast forward a little bit of time, so that way, um, as we're setting out nets, and we'll look around the boat too, which it's not a very big boat, obviously. But uh, this will be another one to knock off our list of uh, getting boats done. Find that on my list here so I can mark it off. I think that's the, the last one that's like, oh, I guess we have the Sharky, which is 115,000. But uh, yeah, so we have a couple of ships left. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do any of that. X. Nope, just refresh. There we go. Okay. All right, that's... Uh, Stop off here for a second. So right now it's uh we want to skip to probably about 
noon, maybe, maybe one I think is pretty ideal. Okay. All right, let's go to here. Let's get some crew out and about. Well, get our one crew member out and about to prepare some gear. And we'll start heading out this way and we'll start looking for some fish in the sonar. So far off to a great start. I don't see anything on there. Hopefully it's not, well, we're in a lot deeper water than that. So that's not good if it's not, looks like it's kind of glitched. That's not a good sign. Uh -huh. We'll get a little bit closer. That's from what, 19 days ago? Where's the one that's more recent? That's seven days ago. We'll just head up to that one. I don't know what's happening with the sonar. That is strange. Well, I guess we don't have very good sonar anyway, so that might actually be the issue. We didn't upgrade the sonar. I didn't even think about that. That actually probably is our problem. Because uh, I can't read that deep, but... Uh, up oh, anyhow we'll see what happens well that net is really going off to the side over there that net looks terrible do you know what you're doing back there thomas that's what we got on board right thomas yeah <laughs> sure you know what you're doing oh gosh oh oh well oh these are gonna be quick to throw out these are short little nets But yeah, so we got our picture of our, our ship right here. Clock right here for fast forward in time. Go downstairs, you can sit down here a little. I like that the windows, you can still see out them and stuff going on. Oop. Throw us there for a second. Yeah, some nice detail on it though. Oh, there's a fish. Better throw it on top of that guy. <laughs> But yeah, most of your stuff in here is pretty, pretty standardized. Um, I don't think you can push any of it if you're not driving. Oh, you can. Whole thing. <laughs> Lights. I want to get those off. And oh, I think that was the running lights. We'll leave that one on. Radio there. Call for help there. Manage crew there. Right on. Pretty nifty. What is our storage there? Um, a rotate searchlight. The dock button. Screens all the same operation. How are we doing, Thomas? We got our hauling up station here of sorts. Oh, we can drive back here too. That's pretty nifty. That actually, it'd be kind of nice to be able to pull stuff in, I feel like. But uh, go around to the front. Here we are. It's like the mini version of the. What was that ship? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, never mind. And you have the cutting station there. We're just sitting going here. Be quiet, Thomas. I apologize for bothering you. Oh, what is it called? Is it the Lenore? Is that the other big one? Gosh, I can't remember now. Two, one, yep. Whoa. Two is a lot closer together than one is. Weird. still putting it out you think I guess not I don't know we'll see how that one goes <laughs> that's kind of weird that might be a glitch um, it's very interesting we may find all sorts of glitches this episode who knows and again when you're net fishing you obviously want to try to keep that right in the middle which I do wish that would go away oh it does oh maybe it doesn't they're throwing done throwing out the net so it'd be nice if it went away when you did this so I could take better screenshots and stuff but uh, we'll grab one right there. And we'll go back into that. All right, floor it. Let's get rolling here. Let's get these last nets out. No one said anything about the way I edit other than Jeff. Thank you, Jeff, for letting me know. <laughs> you enjoy the way I edit it now. So I won't keep you guys in for all the boring stuff. I will probably, after we get this last net thrown out, which I'm just going to throw out here. I'm not really too worried if we catch any fish or not, quite honestly. Um, and if we look at the uh, actual things we can catch what is it might be is it october november let me check on the okay end of october so silver hake 
Attic, mackerel, pollock, redfish. The only thing we don't want is cod. Um, yeah. So, okay. You can go rest now that you got all that done. And I will bring you guys back in in a little bit once we, uh, once we're ready to haul stuff in. All right, welcome back. So on that screen, they look green, but up here they look blue and they're 20 hours. So I'm actually, you know what? Let's just fast forward another hour just to be safe. All right. And they're still blue. All right, perfect. And that one's off right over there, which we are not even, we have drifted far, far, far from it. Okay, so you're gonna net haul. I'm assuming I have to go out there with you. Well, we're not even gonna hit this one. We get way farther over. All right, let's try, let's, let's reset this one. We're already off to a great start. Oh, come on. There we go. That might have been slightly ex excessive, but we'll make it work out. All right. Oops, over there. I was getting ready to head for the wrong one. Okay. Moment of truth. How are we going to do? If we can fill up this ship, that'll be nice, but I somehow just with our fishing endeavors doubt it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we did. These are short nets too, so I mean, even if they are 15 out of 15 fish on here that we get, we're not gonna get a lot of people, or a lot of fish on here. There we go, I didn't see what number that was. Um, 12, okay, that's not too bad. As long as we get a lot of perfects on here, we should be okay. Well, or a lot of goods. <laughs> We should be okay. <laughs> there we go. That was a perfect. I didn't think that was going to be a perfect there. I need to drink more coffee is what I need to do. I'm doing this in the morning. There we go. Silver Hake's a good one. There's Silver Hake there. Oop, that was just okay. That was the worst one yet. I'm on now. There we go. Hit it way too soon. Way too soon. Or way too late, depending on how you look at it, I guess. I try to hit it as it's coming back down because I think it's a little bit easier. <sighs> Jeez, here comes the last fish. Come on, finish on a perfect. Oh, well. Oh, we actually did all right on that. 5,300 pounds of fish. There's nothing that got thrown back. What do we have in storage? There just wasn't any cod on there? Wow. Maybe you can't catch cob with nets. Is that true? I thought you could. Um, I'm not in here. Map uh, wiki. Cod, cod. Let's see. Cod can be caught with what? Let's see here. It doesn't say in there. Let's go to fish tools. Um, net fishing. Doesn't say. Well, anyhow, regardless, we didn't catch any. <laughs> All right, where's the other one at? Over, right over there. Now this one's the one I'm curious about because it's, the two buoys are right next to each other. <laughs> so I have no idea how that happened. I don't know, it must have been me moving around on the boat, like get, getting up and going to a different driving position or getting up and doing something on the boat that must have messed it up a little bit, but that's okay, we'll see how it goes. This boat actually doesn't do too bad for maneuverability, to be honest. It's actually doing pretty decent. This wouldn't be a bad starter boat at all, or bad, pretty, pretty close to beginning game boat. It's pretty maneuverable. I mean, as you can see, I'm making some pretty good turns here. But then you get used to driving something like this and you get in the Moby D and you just can't turn it worth the garbage. <laughs> All right, let's see how many fish we got on. Wow, 15? Oh, the line is damaged though, looks like, yeah. So if you see when you're when you're looking at when I'm picking it up, if it's all red, that means it's all damaged, which I, we must have just destroyed it, thrown it out. So we didn't catch hardly any fish, but that's okay. 
We should still get fairly close to filling the boat. Had we gotten uh, 5,300 pounds off of each line, we would have been overfilled. Yeah, I'm doing my math correctly, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this thing does really get tossed around on the waves, but at least you can recover pretty easily with uh, maneuverability. Oh, we weren't at the right angle for that. Oh, no. All right, well, we'll back up. Not that big of a deal with this big of, or this small of a ship. <laughs> it would be a bigger deal if it was a larger ship. I glitched out for a second there. I did not like that. I actually just got my uh, computer upgraded. A friend helped me with it. We got 15 on here. That's going to be good. But uh, I needed the memory. It was I have a really nice, like, I don't know, it was weird. That it got dark here. I must have gone underwater for a second. But I have a really nice, like, gaming PC, obviously, um, with what I like to do and everything like that. But uh, I don't know. It just seemed like the memory was always getting filled up too quickly and I didn't have enough RAM memory so uh, my friend looked at it and he's like well your computer has four slots one of them is being used so only one slot was being used if you know about computers which I really don't to be honest with you and it was only an eight gigabyte memory card in there so we installed two 16 gigabyte ones took the eight out um, so half that if I need to upgrade further I can but it's so much better it's it's only using I mean it would often use close to the whole entire memory now it's only using around a fourth of the memory it doesn't have to compress any or very much anyways, but yeah, this is much better. There we go. All right, let's get a good catch. I'm hoping it'll actually improve. If you watch my No Man's Land series on Farmer Cop, I'm hoping it'll improve me being able to do stuff on there a little bit easier with placeables and everything like that, having the more memory. Um, I don't know if that'll actually fix it or not. My friend said it could, but there might be other stuff going on and it depends on some farming simulator game type of stuff, but We'll see. Couldn't hurt, that's for sure. All right. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, that was a good catch right there. All right, well, let's go over here and get this last one, pull it in, and we're actually gonna have a decent day. We haven't had a decent day in a while. I mean, we're gonna fill the boat. We haven't filled the boat in a while either, um, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about. We've had some rough episodes where we have not caught very many fish, which I'm not saying we're gonna be rich on this one because we're not filling a very big boat, but hey, we're filling a boat probably gonna be the time the uh the timeline the timeline the uh jeez <laughs> oh man i'm just gonna oh oh don't, don't do that there we go okay thank goodness um it'll probably be the uh, thumbnail not timeline <laughs> jeez 14 all right well we don't really care that much about this net this one should be have no issues filling the rest of the boat up here we go get those redfish on board I do need to look at our fuel, too, here in a second to see how we're doing, to see if we can make it to whatever port I want to go to. Boom. Oof, we were underwater there for a second, too. Oof, wasn't as good as it could have been. All right. Boom. We're doing a lot better on this line, too, which we don't really... No, oh, jeez. I feel like we're gonna sink the boat. <laughs> I was getting nervous here. I missed that one. <laughs> I go like, oh, now we're gonna sink the boat. <laughs> I was saying how how nice it would be to all in a. Uh, see, look at the net actually too here. I want to know this because I you know, only can do it now. You see that right at the very bottom of the net on the bar there? Um, that's showing how damaged the uh, the net is. Oh, I missed that one. This boat is just going crazy. Some boats are pretty bad about this, but we'll see. Come on, fill the boat. Yes, we filled it, even with all my misses. Whew. Yeah, look how low that's sitting. Goodness gracious, that's kind of scary. I don't know if that's a glitch or we're actually should be scared. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, you go to you go to hand gutting. <laughs> um, let's go on the menu here. So, oh, actually, what do we have most of on board? Uh, mostly haddock. We're pretty even haddock, pollock, redfish. Um, oops. Let's see what we got going on. Okay. Two, two, five, two, five, two, 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 five, two, five. 
two one. No, no, we're not going to there. So Yarmouth is the best so far. Two 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 five two four. Um, so Yarmouth is still the best. Two oh nine two six eight two seven four. That's got pretty good ones for those other guys, but Haddock's not great. So maybe Ingles. Dennis Point is not as high there, but those ones that's a decent price for Redfish. Digby. Hmm. What's uh, Ingles? Two oh nine on the Haddock, but. That's such a high price, though, for that one. We're going to go to Dennis Point. I think that'll be our a good one for us. Um, how's it? Oh, we got plenty of fuel. Okay. The Dennis Point. Right there. Okay. All right. We will continue until you get tired, and then we'll have you rest. <laughs> yeah, it's glitching a little bit there. See how he's doing? Still working away. You still got plenty too. Look at that. You keep it up. Obviously, we'll have to hand cup, hand hand gut some of them when we get into the port here, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, how you doing? Ah, oh, you're not doing too bad. Well, we'll let you rest. And I'll come out and do it. Let's get some lights on, though. There we go. I think I cut a fall. Yep, at least got the work lights on. All right. Glad my shadow's there. That actually, I think, helps, even though the lights are on out here. Oof, that one's not as good. A lot of silver hake on board, actually, too, which is great. Silver hake usually has a decent price. We'll see what it is here, I guess. I'd be willing to travel for otherwise. I'm surprised that one's as good as it was. <laughs> I went back and forth on. Oh, goodness. These ones do knock out the gutting pretty quick, too. There we go. Get some good guts in. The last fish. Perfect. Okay. For once, I'll actually pull into the port here. It's this right there. Usually, I just fast travel because it's easier. All right, folks. We're actually gonna have a full load of fish to sell. I am so excited about this. Yes. Silver Hake's pretty good too. Look at that, 66 grand. I cannot complain about that. We're gonna leave the port here. <sighs> right on, well, um, yeah, we'll probably end up selling the Saharkin because I think after we um, sell, let's just, just go to the shipyard here. Available and not available. Let's go to own, activate. And this guy, if we sell for 68, yeah, we'll end up coming out on top on that one, which is pretty sweet. So, sell that guy. Okay. Awesome. We're up to 500, 248,000, or 5, 5 million, 240,000. I really can't use words today, folks. I really apologize. Uh, anyhow, guys, this is going to be the end of the, our, our, our episode today. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Gamer Cop channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been GamerCop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.